Today, we will talk about counterparty risk. Counterparty risk is the likelihood or probability that one of those involved in a transaction might default on its contractual obligation. Counterparty risk can exist in credit, investment, and trading transactions. Varying degrees of counterparty risk exist in all financial transactions. Counterparty risk is also known as default risk. Default risk is the chance that companies or individuals will be unable to make the required payments on their debt obligations. Lenders and investors are exposed to default risk in virtually all forms of credit extensions. Counterparty risk is a risk that both parties should consider when evaluating a contract. If one party has a higher risk of default, a premium is usually attached to the transaction to compensate the other party. The premium added due to counterparty risk is called a risk premium. In retail and commercial financial transactions, credit reports are often used by creditors to determine the counterparty's credit risk. Credit scores of borrowers are analyzed and monitored to gauge the level of risk to the creditor. Financial investment products such as stocks, options, bonds, and derivatives carry counterparty risk. Bonds are rated by agencies, such as Moody's and Standard & Poor's, from AAA to junk bond status to gauge the level of counterparty risk. Bonds that carry higher counterparty risk pay higher yields. When counterparty risk is minimal, the premiums or interest rates are low, such as with money market funds. When the counterparty risk is miscalculated and a party defaults, the impending damage can be severe. For example, the default of so many collateralized debt obligations was a major cause of the real estate collapse in 2008. Mortgages are securitized into CDOs for investment and backed by the underlying assets. One of the major flaws of CDOs before the economic crash was that they contained subprime and low-quality mortgages, but the CDOs were given the same high-grade ratings as corporate debt. Here are three key takeaways. One, counterparty risk is the likelihood or probability that one of those involved in a transaction might default on its contractual obligation. Counterparty risk can exist in credit, investment, and trading transactions. Two, the numerical value of a borrower's credit score reflects the level of counterparty risk to the lender or creditor. Three, investors must consider the company that's issuing the bond, stock, or insurance policy to assess whether there's default or counterparty risk. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.